Hey Eurovision fans, it's Tom coming to you from Dublin and I'm back for another Eurovision reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Mama Shit from Let3. They won door last night and they will represent Croatia in Eurovision 2023. So let's kiki. As always you can use the progress bar if you want to skip straight to my reaction which is usually after around 3 minutes. First of all, I have already reacted to all the songs in Dora. I put that video up earlier in the week. I'll leave a link in the eye up here. Now, when this song came on during that, I did not understand what was going on at all. It was like an old school Soviet video with like a lot of old clips looking like from like communist propaganda or something. And obviously I didn't understand any of the lyrics. Just at the time, I was just like, I have no idea what's going on. So I just kind of like went by quite quickly. So I didn't realize it was so... <laughs> <laughs> massively popular um i didn't see this performance last night because there were so many national finals going on at the same time that i just missed it i have seen a couple of visual spoilers like some of the costumes and i know that some <laughs> crazy stuff happens but i haven't seen the full performance or what it's going to look like on stage this entry is so controversial my god people are going on, on about this on twitter most people are really 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 negative but that's not massively surprising the twitter community can be quite negative about some things croatia are currently on this four non-qualification streak now in fairness they did come 11th twice with mia dimsic last year and also albina so they were very 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 close i feel like mia would have qualified if her staging was a bit better albina just a little bit unlucky that she was in a semi-final where she had pink and blue staging and like three other people had the exact same staging so yeah i associate croatia with lots of iconic entries maria magdalena in 99 who's a fan favorite that came fourth shvita luba in 96 is an absolutely amazing song with her red short hair and her kind of like she looked like a waitress <laughs> she had those high notes which i remember at the time was like this incredibly shocking thing like nowadays if we look at what's shocking i think it takes a little bit more to shock people more than just a high note but when she screamed i remember that being a big issue uh, she ended up coming fourth as well i think that's croatia's best result yeah they've come fourth twice the lighthouse in 2016 absolutely amazing and my favorite question song ever is actually 2009 igor krukov lepa tiena but the version without andrea the version with andrea is terrible i have the version without her <laughs> i don't know if you're gonna be able to find that though maybe that's like a really rare thing to have the version without her ruining the song but yeah so that's my favorite ever croatian song okay, i'm gonna go through the first time without knowing any of the lyrics because that is what the person in your vision is going to experience and then i will look up the lyrics afterwards so this is let three one and i'm a secret bang now this one, the jury and the televote. Okay, so it's definitely an attention grabbing beginning with those kind of like post-apocalyptic. Their costumes are wild. I actually really like those visuals in the background where they kind of like, um, is it like a woman dressed in green? Musically now, it's quite simple so far. I do like that kind of rumbling beat that feels like it's coming up. And I like this kind of like, it's like post-apocalyptic, androgynous drag. It's very empty musically now. I do think they're gonna have to make it. Okay, that guitar helped, but it was quite late. How far in are we? A minute. They have to do more in that first minute. Mm. Ooh, he's got a good voice. It does seem like a bit of like a clusterfuck, like it's a bit of a head fuck right now. Like kind of very trippy. They're just gonna have to make it look like not a joke entry, because they are talking about serious stuff here. But elements of it do look like a piss take. Oh, this is the tractor bit. I know I've seen lots of tractor emojis on Twitter. This bit feels a little bit flat. That guitar coming in helps a lot, but that flat bit is very flat. Okay, I see some rockets going onto the stage. <laughs> oh, God. These twirling camera angles really do add to the chaos and the kind of craziness. I actually like the back LED a lot. Back, back LEDs really, really looks expensive. Okay, I'm guessing that's Putin, because I'm hearing the word psychopath. He's actually got a good voice. He's a good singer. Mm. 
Yeah, it's crazy. But there's elements of it that are really like entertaining and funny. Why wow, those rockets are just like the way he's got them on his legs and everything. Yeah. Okay. I heard a couple of boos from the crowd there. Okay, let's go look at the lyrics first before I say anything. Well, no, let's let's talk about the forms quickly first before I talk at the lyrics. Okay, there's things about it I think are really great. I love the LED. I thought the images in the LED actually look quite cool and they looked like they'd had a lot of time and work put into them. And I think that's a really important thing about an entry that could be perceived as a joke. Joke entries are more kind of like taking the piss out of the competition, like um, not really trying that hard as opposed to something that's like really making a point. And from the limited knowledge I have about the lyrics, I think it's about an anti-Putin song. This does have a strong meaning. I think the way that you differentiate the two of them is the amount of effort it looks like it's been put in. So, for example, with that song, uh, Ike Luft, uh, in Germany, it looks like it's very little effort, like they're not trying very hard. And that's where it looks more like a joke one. Whereas, opposed like that LED, for example, looks like a lot of work's been put into it. It looks artistic. So it looks more than it's like an artistic protest song as opposed to just like, oh, we don't really care that much. And that's a really, really important differentiation to make. In terms of the music, it does sound a little bit too flat sometimes. And that's what makes it feel like a joke entry. I think if they added in a lot more complexity into the melody in certain parts, it would make the viewer feel, okay, this is actually like a legitimate song with a real message as opposed to kind of like an amateur, kind of more just an amateur person who wants to make a point or just wants to take the piss out of something. But yet visually, it's incredibly striking. Like it's really gonna grab people's attention. And I think in a year that's all televote. In normal years, you think, okay, this is gonna be absolutely not really massacred by the jury because they're not gonna understand it. They're not going to understand that performance and they may translate it eventually and explain what's going on more clearly or that their point of view is being very real but with that just now that would bomb in the jury but there is no jury in the semis so actually maybe this could do pretty well now serbia is in their semi-final but i think serbia will give this 12 only people who are anti-putin can vote it up and i think there's enough in serbia that this would definitely get 12 from that title now you're obviously need more than 12 points it's it's gonna get that shock factor some people are really tuning into your vision see something really crazy and wild and colorful and vibrant and just something that they would never conceive because it's just so culturally different from what they see in their day-to-day -day lives whatever country people are from they'll steal crazy stuff but it's a different type of crazy every country's crazy looks different and this crazy is very interesting and unique and it's colorful and it feels fun and the costumes are very vibrant and they've got makeup on and they've got this drag feel but yeah I, I feel like if they were just really clever and strategic here they could they could elevate this and make it look more expensive and really thought out I think that's the main focus is that it needs to feel thoughtful and real and not taking the piss out of people and then actually people could it might surprise I'm not saying it's going to win or anything like that Jesus but I'm talking about you only need to be top 10 in a semi-final of 15 and that's going to stand out there's no one who's going to not remember it and you're going to get definitely people who are like oh that was so wild and crazy I'm definitely voting for it it also depends how much they can keep on the stage like those rockets I don't think they're going to be able to bring the rockets onto the stage so they're going to have to get those kind of shocking images in in a different way and again that's when the imagination is going to play a huge part so they've definitely got qualification potential but they just need to be like really clever like really clever while dancing on eggshells because there's certain things that they won't be able to say and do on the actual stage let's go have a look at the lyrics mama boat a tractor mama boat a tractor training armageddon non -ish. okay i don't understand that yeah i'm not sure what please explain me what's the metaphor for the tractor mama being kissing a moron be kissing a moron okay so that's putin oh it's the alphabet <laughs> i think they're saying the alphabet a, B, C, shit, shit. Okay, mama, mama, I'm gonna go play. Mama, I'm going to war. Okay, so it's, it is a Ukraine song. That little psychopath, little vicious psychopath, crocodile psychopath. I'm not sure what crocodile, maybe that's a Croatian thing. Mama, I'm going to war. Okay, so it's an anti-Putin, anti-war song. So yeah, the meaning is very much, is interesting. It's contemporary, it's relevant. I don't think this is dead in the water. I just, there's, there's so many hurdles. So how are they gonna have the impact and get the meaning of the song across? They could add some English in, that's one thing they could do, or they could have some English subtitles in the background. 
they need to make a bridge to everyone else in Europe and say, look, this is a real song. It's It's got a funny exterior, but we are talking about something very real in our culture or something that's in our concern in our country right now. And this is important to us. We're looking at it in a funny way, but we do really, like this is something that we care about. This isn't just like Pirates of the Sea. Is it Dogs of the Sea? What was that awful song from Latvia? It's not like Wolves of the Sea from Latvia. What are the other like joke entries? Like Euro Neuro, that was a joke entry. And I think it needs a revamp as well. I think musically they need to add a couple more layers into it. Get rid of all the flat feeling parts. He's got a good voice as well. I would like if they added a little bit more vocals for him to show off that. But yes, definitely the verses, we need more assistance. Hold people's hands to get them through that. Like in the National Final Forms, they've kept it like fun at the start and more seriously then. So I kind of like that progression. But just make sure that people are going to sit through the whole thing and understand it and realize that you're being serious. And that is going to be quite a task. I think adding in some instrumentation, maybe some traditional Croatian instruments could just help keep more people present to see the ending and see the meaning behind the song. So yeah, look, I'm, I'm not hating on this. It's, look, I'm not going to download it. I'm not going to... Yeah, but, but I don't expect to download every song every year. I think there are some more songs which are more visual songs. Like, for example, Spain this year. I really, really, really like that song, but I don't... I'm not going to download it. But I love watching the performance. And we have that every year. There are some songs which are just more audio-friendly and some which just need the visual, like, total package for the whole thing to really work. So I'm looking forward to seeing this in your vision. I, I'm, I'm rooting for them. I hope that Croatia can pull, like, a bit of a surprise and actually qualify. And I think it's actually got a pretty decent shot. But, yeah, there's it's going to take an immense amount of planning and just being really smart and testing things out on people to and, and seeing how people react. Okay, that's what I thought about Mama Shuchi from Croatia. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in another action video very soon. Goodbye. Blah, blah, blah.